Alright everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to encrypt uh, files and information on your uh, OS X based system using disk utility and encrypted disk images. So let's begin. Open up disk utility and what you want to do here is uh, select the uh, new image icon, click on it. Dialog box will ask you where do you want to save it and the name. So. We'll call this thing test full. I'll show you in a second why. So it's going to save it to the desktop. Gives you a couple of options on uh, size here. Now you can um, you can make it so that it'll fit on a CD, DVD, dual air DVD, or even external hard drive if you're going to be moving around that much data. So for this, I'll just go with 100 megabytes. You want to enable encryption on this. And for this, you have two options read, write, and sparse. For this one, I'll choose read, write just for this one. Okay. Hit create. Now, the uh, password dialog is going to come up. It's going to ask you, uh, well, how do you want to password protect this guy? And if you notice that there's a little key icon right there, if you click on that, it'll bring up the password assistant. And this is nice because it can, uh, with this, you can actually test the strength of your passwords. Now, one, two, three, four is not a very strong password. Normally, I wouldn't recommend that. So, you know, just by adding in a couple of characters, you can dramatically increase the strength of your password. But um, you can just close it out. So that's a nice little utility included. Okay. So to make my life simple, one, two, three, four. One, two, okay. You want to uncheck this box right here. You don't want to add it to the keychain because if you uh, add it to the keychain and if you keep this uh, image file on that system, anyone can walk up to it and open your files. Not a good idea, so uncheck that, hit OK. And here it's formatting, creating, and it's going to mount the disk image file right on your desktop. Okay, and there it is in the background. So if you look at the file information on this, if we do a get info on, uh, on this DMG file, okay, we notice that um, it created what we asked for, 100 megabyte disk or image on disk. So that's cool. But the preferred method to using disk utility is to create sparse images. And the process is very similar, almost identical, with the exception of one minor step. So we'll create a new image. Call it a test sparse, okay? And uh, again, 100 megabytes, not 500. Enable encryption, but we're going to create a sparse disk image. Now, what this means is that the size of the disk and the size of the file actually on the desktop that or the DMG file. The size of that file is going to grow dynamically as you drag and drop stuff onto it. And that's how I recommend you do that. So the total capacity is going to be 100 megabytes. That's as far out as you can go. But um, if you don't reach 100 megabytes on the first try, you know, you can drag and drop files, keep on adding to it. Um, it's just going to give you what you need. So that's what I recommend is create a sparse disk image. Okay, hit create. Once again, it's going to ask you for the password. <clears throat> okay, remember, you don't want that. Hit OK. Okay, and if you look at Activity Monitor, if you look at the mounted volumes now in the disk usage, you'll see that we have our read write disk image, and it has a formatted capacity of 100 megabytes as we asked for. And we have our sparse disk image. And it has a formatted capacity of, again, 100 megabytes, just like we asked for. But if I do a get info on the sparse image file that was created, you'll see that right now it's not really taking up as much space, 11.6 megabytes. So we have a full capacity of 100 megabytes on this virtual drive. But because nothing's on it, it's only sucking up 11 megs, which is kind of cool. 
And what I'll do is I'll uh, come down here. So what we'll do is we'll choose some files, copy it over to the sparse image, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. File copy is complete. Those are the files, and this is on an encrypted virtual volume now. And if you look at a disk utility or a activity monitor under disk usage, now what you'll see is that we've actually used up some space. Okay. And now if I uh, take my uh, sparse image, inject it from my drive, what we see now is that the sparse file is now consuming about 38 megs of space, which is pretty much what's on there, encrypted. So that's the difference. You have a total capacity of 100 megabytes, but when you eject it, <clears throat> it's only going to use on on disk what's currently being used. It's not going to like it's not going to statically allocate the disk space. It's going to be shrinking and growing dynamically with whatever is in there. Okay. So read write disk image, typical disk image. It's going to suck up your disk space all in one shot. So it's going to be more disk intensive. Sparse disk image is going to grow with you, shrink with you, what have you. Okay? So that's the uh, basics to file encryption in Mac OS X. It's free, it comes with the operating system. Alright, so uh, that's about it. Hope you liked it. Alright, peace out.